Today, we as people are losing our authenticity. I believe that a three or a phrase that perfectly encapsulates or encapsulates our generation is a known by a three-letter acronym uh, known as GTS or Google that you know. Um, the cognitive process has been squandered by the increasingly more accessible internet. Any question we may have lay at our fingertips. I or oh, any question. Oh gosh. Uh, Without the internet, we are blind. I'm here to tell you that this is not conducive to the minds of tomorrow. We must not let our minds become simply an input to recreate somebody else's output. We must authenticate the way we learn and take advantage of our individuality to show the world what we have to offer, rather than reiterating the already iterated. Humans have always kind of reminisced on the past, and the reason that, that is is that we see the you know, like. The success that those, you know, idolized figures have, you know, reached before us, and all these great things that they've done, and we just simply want that. You know, we have no capacity in our minds to understand anything beyond what we've seen others do before us. You know, like for example, my favorite band, as cliche as it sounds, is Nirvana, and it's not that Kurt Cobain's lyrics necessarily were all that great, or that the music. The, or the sound of their music they're coming out with was much or anything much better than what we have today. It's the fact that they were the first people, or they were the first band to really revolutionize music. It was something that no one had ever heard before. You know, it's like everyone in the world just stopped for a second and really just took a listen to hear what was coming out, like what was happening. You know, and you know the same thing happens in literature and what we, you know, like what we learn in our English classes. We're made to read these classic novels of these, you know, amazing authors and, you know, like, American figures. And it's, it's not just the content of the book, it's not that it's anything much better than what we, you know, what's coming out today. It's, you know, the time period in which it was written in, you know, it's like the feeling that you get knowing that this was, you know, the first of its kind. Though it is important to appreciate the work that these idolized figures had created, it is more valuable to learn the qualities of creating new ideas that come from the passion of expressing who or who they are as a person. The end result is impressive, but not nearly as impressive as the path or the path to get there. Now I know many of you are probably thinking, "Well, this guy is an idiot. I'm not the next Albert Einstein or anything. You know, I'm not going to come up with a new theory of relativity." But that's not what I mean. I think that we are all put here in our individual perspectives and, you know, singularly, you know, just for a reason, you know, as we all have something to offer to the world. And the problem is that we've grown up in a society of taking orders, the land of opportunity. But what does that really mean? You know, the, the land up to which we will create guidelines for you to succeed and live in the society, or to live, the, to live society's perfect life. They say hard work is the key to success. Well, they're wrong. Hard work will get you a six-figure paying job and just more, or if you're lucky, and just more money to die with. The, passion, or the key to success is passion. Passion, or, granted, you usually work hard for what you're passionate about, but passion is what will make you happy, and isn't that really what it's all about? Now, all of these idolized figures of the past didn't just look up on Google Way, or ways to write a great story, or new advancements in the musical industry. What they had was an idea. An idea that revolutionized the world into what, is today, or into what it is today, through their own cognitive process. It is not our fault for our unoriginality, though, necessarily. For the most part, we are only capable of knowing what we've been told and taught what to do. The cognitive process has been squandered by the system in which we learn. In a world where, it become, or where it's increasingly more or harder to succeed, create healthy habits for your mind to access the originality very deep within. Society has created a picture-perfect representation of how to live a perfect life. We base what we want for our futures off of what we've previously seen others achieve. We feel it is the only way to succeed, because more often than not, we fail to think of anything, or, or we fail to think of anything not previously thought of before. Embrace your individuality and allow yourself to be your own search engine. Thank you.